Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Korg released software versions of their WaveState and OP6 synthesizers today. And I thought it would be a fun idea to see if they can run on the Raspberry Pi 400. Perhaps you already know that the original Korg WaveState is built around the Raspberry Pi. So let's see if we can bring back the test version of these VST plugins to the Raspberry Pi. Here we go. Okay, let's walk through this quickly, as I already did a detailed video on this process you'll find on my channel. Kark did not release a version native to Linux or Raspberry Pi, so I'll use the Windows version instead, which will then run inside Microsoft's Intel emulator. You can install Windows 11 on your Pi by following the procedure described on the page you see on screen right now. After going through the setup process, which takes roughly an hour or so, here we are on Windows 11. It's super important you use the fastest SD card you can get, otherwise using Windows will be a painfully slow experience. Hardware-wise, I'm using a cheap USB audio interface here. Link is in this video's description if you're interested. Luckily for all of you, Korg released free-to-try versions of the new plugins, with the only limitations being you can't save patches and they'll run for just 20 minutes. But after those 20 minutes are over, you can just restart for another 20 minutes and so on. You'll need to register with Quark and then you can just download those demos. While installing, I encountered an error message complaining about a missing DLL file. This can be remedied by installing the Microsoft Visual C++ libraries. After that, installation is no problem and here we are in the standalone version of the WaveState plugin. And Oh boy, <laughs> the wave state gobbles up RAM and CPU resources like there's no tomorrow. Getting it to run without glitches was absolutely impossible. You can go to the Windows Task Manager and assign more CPU time to it, which will enable some of the patches to run without glitches, but sooner or later the sound will start to crackle or even pause. So, in conclusion, running the new Cork plugins on the Pi is not possible at the moment unless some some super magic optimization will be patched on in the future or a version native to ARM64 architecture is released. And until that happens, here are some snippets that luckily were relatively glitch free. And if you want to know more about the synth, please head over to Woody Pianoshek's review, which should be on screen right now.
Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you again very very soon. Bye bye!